What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode with AB Investments. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful weekend. Weather is finally getting much, much, much better here in the Midwest region. Um, we also got the Reds playing right now, actually. So, <laughs> best of luck to that. Um, I want to talk about something that will overall shape, in my opinion, the overall image for you, for everybody else, um, on how it all will go down as far as on a macro level, okay? Not just, and, and while that's tied up to us and how we get paid for AMC uh, and GME and the rest of the other meme stocks, um, the most important thing is understanding how this whole thing could go down. When Now, we all understand AB is one of the people that has been saying, hey, we're going to crash, the market is going to crash, blah, 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 recession, all this stuff. Okay, most of the world now is unanimously understanding that that uh, that, uh, that that talk. But now they're wondering when or, or particularly how um, we see that the feds are bailing uh, banks out and the other banks are bailing each other out, blah, blah, blah. But see, here's the, where the story would happen. Here's my opinion on how the story would go down. See, now it's either you, you get too much sun or you don't get sun at all. And now you can see it. It's all like right here. I'm going to have like one quarter of my face like just being tanned and then the rest <laughs> being very pale. Um, see, how the little banks, especially like the SVP, B, B, um, when especially being it being like the 11th biggest bank blah 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 default in over 100 billion dollars had to be gathered and paid they said it's not from the taxpayers it's from the banks it's like assessments and bank like you know the 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 policies that other banks have insurance uh so it's not coming out of taxpayers hand, uh, pockets but yeah sure it's not here here's how you connect the dots or Here's how you connect the lines with the dots, okay? The And here's one thing that most people are failing to actually even see or, or understand in general. Um, and, 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 and what that thing is, it start off by giving something and getting you to believe this is not, and theoretically, it could be not from taxpayers' money, right? Right now. But the banks that are paying these assessments are the bigger banks, OK, these bigger banks are actually tied up and already on a direct sponsor list or sponsorship by the feds uh, and all the other major uh, like, you know, entity uh, branches. Now, when you have this uh, phenomena where these bigger banks are coming in and like, you know, helping together so they can make sure all the other banks can go run through their deposits. The story that they got to go through is, oh my God, now those same banks, those same big banks that came to help with over hundreds of billions of dollars to the little banks that they had to, the Fed had to acquire or take it, take over or make their uh, investors or depositors whole doesn't matter who it is and who's not in that in that list of investors that they wanted to make whole or in other words uh re reinsure or redeposit their money back for them now those same big banks like the banks of america's the cities and the goldman's and the jp morgan's are actually gonna say at some point they're gonna say we've been bailing out we we've been <laughs> the falling hero in this whole story We've been helping all the other ones, and now it's being done to us. Who bails us out? See? This is how they prep you. It's kind of like prepping the meat for barbecue. This is how they prep us for the barbecue. First, you play hero. You create the narrative or the story that you need to be, obviously, the hero. You play hero, and the next thing you know, they themselves say, well, we we're also not you know, safe from all that. Money... Is drying up. We're not. This is not 2020, 2021. Uh, the obviously the Feds are continuing to hike the rates, 
and people are still so much there's so much uncertainty in the market and fear to the point where people who even heard about the previous banks the smaller banks or the other banks that ran dried out are afraid and they're do, making bank runs on the bank somehow the money is going to uh, disappear in these major banks and they're going to make the excuse saying that hey uh we were there to help these other banks out we're so good we're such a marine and a soldier to the point where we put all the people ahead of us ahead of our own best interest in life and now we are being at a great risk uh we stand at a great risk of possibly being uh vaporized and obviously at that point that's when you get daddy uh jerome powell to come out and say and obviously maybe most likely the uh the potus himself coming out and saying hey you know what sign um you know remember what i was telling you about the tab being put on the desk uh and somebody's got to sign it that's eventually where we get where, where how how in my humble opinion how it's all going to play out they get bailed out obviously but by then we would have already been paid let rest assured like the market would have ever already been dealt with at that point it's all about just uh again it's all my humble opinion no no dates given or nothing but this is how it would go down that's the excuse that they would use that to, in order for them to reach for taxpayer money and for our taxpayer money to basically say hey you know what we 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 tried to help them and we got screwed we helped them but we we drowned we got in, in a problem and where in reality the, the whole front story was a story to make up for the uh the down, the fall story of of the major pieces which is the bigger banks with that being said much love i'll catch you tomorrow